to your weekend love reading. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. Um, please be mindful some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. Don't try to force anything. Um, all right, so this is going to be from starting this reading June 30th through the July 4th. So happy Independence 4th of July day to everyone who celebrates here in the U.S. All right, let's get started here. What are these love messages for Virgo? For the weekend, finances and career. Virgo, I feel like that's always your love message. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And make the effort. Okay, so. Hmm. Um, okay, hold on now. Hold on. All right, I feel like somebody over this weekend, a lover, is going to ask you for a loan for something. Um, they need they need some help. Somebody needs help, okay? Um, I want to just preface real quick. I started doing your reading, and um, I had to stop it because as it was going, it just began to deteriorate. I don't understand what was happening there. But the first two cards had flipped out, and it was the King of Cups, and a knight of wands <clears throat> there was some very lusty on fire passionate energy movement coming from a king of cups so i don't know if that'll show up again in the reading um but eventually like i couldn't make out the rest of the reading and it, it just which is strange for me because i don't ever have that problem but it just went into i don't know if i want to say creep mode or it just went into this doesn't make sense mode and I just had to stop the reading. So if it shows up again, that's fine. Okay, so there's a tower. So some of you might be, somebody might be asking for a little help with something, um, a little money or something. You gotta open up, you gotta like turn that big old combination lock and open up the safe and pull out a couple of dollars or pounds or euro or whatever for somebody. <coughs> so they can, um, and it's just as simple as somebody might you might actually be paying for all of the meal and the tip and the and and the the movie and all of that paying for like forking it out uh, completely okay um but other than that okay apart from that message <laughs> there is this thing here where it's interesting because finances and career um there's financial issues are affecting are a factor, not affecting, but they're a factor in this, in your love life right now. So there's somebody here who is not really making a move toward you due to a, a career or a financial situation. Okay. That's playing a role in whether or not this person's going to be able to, um, move forward. I feel like once they feel like it's safe and it's the right time and they're able to do that, then they're going to come in. Okay. And, and take this, the, these steps towards you. Okay. Now the tower is here. So let's take a look and see what this tower energy is. Okay. The tower and the moon. Wow. This is a breakdown of lies and deception. Everything is just being destroyed. I don't know how that's going to relate to you. This is Pisces. This is Scorpio energy. And then the emperor. Okay. <laughs> Aries. Okay. Hmm. Wow. Okay. So whoever this person is, whatever their energy is, maybe you know them, you don't know them, I don't know, but whoever I'm picking up here could be um could be an Aries. This there's an apology coming in here for you over this weekend I'm, and it's I'm hearing it's I'm hearing I'm sorry that um I'm, I'm see the emperor doesn't usually need to apologize, but there's something here. Um I, I'm, I'm hearing, I'm sorry that I, I ruined everything with my deception and lies. That's what I'm hearing. <clears throat> it's, it's some kind of an apology. And I'm also sorry that I hurt our daughter. I'm hearing. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. So I'm sorry that I walked away, that I left, that I that I just left the scene of the crime and I just left you to deal with everything and everything fell apart and you didn't know what was going on. Okay, this is going deep. 
this is going deep okay so an apology is coming in great and um will you forgive me and um i want to <laughs> on a proposal can we try to make this work okay oh my goodness <clears throat> so this this feels like hold on my goodness this feels like a situation here where somebody had to like leave because they had to go to work or they had to make money and they just they had to leave i don't know maybe they went to jail or this person had to like get out of a situation you know they had to leave you they left you this could be a family member it could be a lover they left to go get themselves together they couldn't take care of you take care of the family do whatever okay i'm so sorry i'm just like so stuffy right now so they couldn't take care of anything and here they are coming back here here they are reaching out um apologizing to you for that and they're coming in with the capability here to meet your needs point blank period that's what this is that is what this is take care of you take care of your daughter take care of your son take care of the kids that energy okay so over this weekend <laughs> yeah here you go son daughter maybe maybe there's two kids maybe there's three i don't know children in general but yeah boy and a girl so this person is coming in okay um male or female energy wanting to try again this might not be something you're expecting okay they they have a different they're seeing things differently now they've healed their their religious they've gone and they've got they've they found jesus they found the lord they're doing that they found they found jesus they found god they're seeing things differently they have a spiritual outlook uh, they've gone into maybe some recovery or they've helped themselves out you know they they got this spiritual counseling or healing of some sort you know um they're still who they are <clears throat> they're still the person they are but they have this um you know whole new outlook now on life they're seeing they've grown up either they grown grew up they see things differently new perspective okay whatever virgo's just like what is virgo doing here oh virgo you're getting married whoever this so okay let me just make something clear here right so general reading some of you are like i don't have any kids that's not the case then that's not the case if there's no kids there's definitely an apology coming in from someone who left to take care of some business and some things and pretty much maybe ghosted or just left the situation um and just caused all this ruin it was deceptive things broke down because they just took off okay that's a general message whether you have children or not or there's a family attachment it's that's your story i don't know but look virgo you have the four of wands and the ten of cups this feels like something that you have wanted in your life okay that's what you're seeking but in regard to this situation yeah you got the nine of swords too you wanted this but with the nine of swords i feel like you're in it you're going to be like stressed the f out over this situation like i i was so like i see you saying like i was you're having a conversation with this person i thought you left with the world i was so stressed i had so much anxiety because this person is coming back in to apologize for that and you're like what i thought you were dead i didn't even know what happened to you i never heard from you again you couldn't even say goodbye or tell me what was going on that caused a lot of stress and anxiety for you here virgo right because i feel like you wanted to be with this person ten of cups four of wands you wanted that happiness joy celebration family love total support all that energy okay but your anxiety even itself your nightmares your stress about this person just leaving or you know just completely destroying everything and not saying anything and just sneaking off in the night caused you to to at some point just let go and now they're you know they're making that return here okay i didn't even get child support <laughs> some of you 
You didn't even pay for it. Send money to the kids or anything like that. Maybe they couldn't. Maybe they were in jail. I don't know how that works. But, you know, I've waited and waited. I waited such a long time and it was like never coming in. It was like a drip after drip after drip. Nothing. Wow, Virgo. You're having a conversation this weekend with somebody. <clears throat> You're having a conversation this weekend with somebody who's coming back in here who's now ready to move things forward with you and I feel like you're you're like are you kidding like are you absolutely kidding because it's kind of selfish right I mean everybody's got problems everybody's got things they got to do they got to take care of business right but to just go and not say anything I mean that's harsh that's harsh and harsh 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 energy okay all right, let's get into another love reading. See what the messages here are. I like you. Okay. This is someone's liking you. Romance is blooming. Fun flirting and wanting to date. Okay, you have the dragonfly. Be lighthearted. Finding out things. Coming to light. Adapt, change, and heal. Okay. Oh, kisses. All right, we're going back to that reading, aren't we? Okay. <laughs> This is not the reading I just did. This is something separate here, okay? Somebody is, you're going to find somebody finding out, coming to light that somebody is like <clears throat> falling in love with you, okay? And I feel like this is attached to the last reading. Not yesterday, the day before. Um, the one where there it was, a, it was fun and sexy times, okay? <laughs> This is that, this is this, this is 2.0. Hold on, let me get my cards out. This is 2.0. Okay. So you've got the, so you've got, you've got somebody new or somebody that you've been connecting with who's new that things are going well here or somebody new coming in, right, where things will be going well. Okay. And then you've got that past person who's also trying to come in, but we're leaving them where they are. Okay, so there's definitely um, a change that's coming in. Somebody wants to date you. A lot of flirting over this weekend. Somebody's interested. Um, there's a lot of affection and falling in love energy here. Okay. Oh, wow. The Magician. Okay, Seven of Swords. And the lovers. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> this is like stealing away. <laughs> this is totally stealing away. I see you doing something over this weekend. A little love tryst going somewhere. Um, this is like we're going to sneak away somewhere up in the mountains. <laughs> camp out in a tent all weekend naked and have a really good time this is <laughs> this is you know I mean maybe some of you will do that but this is the energy this getting together kind of thing stealing away for the weekend this magician energy listen you guys Gemini Gemini look that's double Gemini right there so I don't know you might have a Gemini that you'll be connecting with over the weekend maybe We'll see. Could be somebody new, like I said, or this could be somebody you're connected with. Um, doesn't have to be, though, so let's not ride too hard on that. Um, for <clears throat> for some of you, this is your magic man, your magic woman, magic woman coming in here. This is like somebody who gets the twirls going in your eyeballs, like um, Mowgli in um, the Jungle Book, you know, when the snake was getting... Mowgli, the snake had the twirling of the eyes and like was hypnotizing Mowgli. That's this very like hypnotizing kind of energy over this weekend. Crazy. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay. Wow. Temperance. Yeah, this feels like a repeat of that, that reading I gave you the other day. Okay. So look, this is somebody's seriously crushing on each other right here. 100% um, smitten as F with you. Even to, like before, during, and after. Th that's what I'm feeling. And this temperance energy here, oh my goodness. Um, having some drinks, definitely. Or, you know, somewhere where there's a bartender. You don't have to be drinking. A lot of fun. A lot of sexiness. Um, connecting with each other, definitely. Um, 
you know, if you're not physically intimate with each other, there's a lot of um, transparency and vulnerability opening up to one another. Okay. A, a very like that page of wands is enthusiasm. That's like, oh my gosh, can't wait. Got to keep it moving T together. Got to be with you. Okay. Who's this? Queen of Wands and Ten of Swords. Oh my goodness. Ah, <laughs> you have competition. Okay, so there's somebody else in the picture. Um, whoever your person is, this person that you're connecting with, um, there's somebody else who is going to try to make the move um, towards your person. I don't see you making, well, you might be making some moves, but there's somebody else in the picture who will be competing and is going to get shot down. This is Queen of Wands, Virgo. You are 100% taking the lead over the queen of wands generally people don't usually take the lead over the queen of wands like i have to keep it real because the queen of wands is like she's fire and she is generally like extremely passionate and popular and bold and everybody loves the queen of wands but queen of wands getting shot down virgo you're the s-h-i-t here over this weekend who is this person who is this person because whoever they are they're like, no, I don't like him or her. I want you. I got my eye on you. <laughs> and the, <laughs> see, like the Queen of Wands is like rejected. Boom, rejected. Let me see. All right, who is this person, Virgo? What is going on here? All right, this person either works in a school, they're on vacation, summer vacation. Oh, the emperor coming through. Okay, this is someone who's in a boss leader position. For some, it could be an Aries, Mars, uh, Mars energy. Um, but this is someone who sits in like a boss leadership, CEO, like they're in charge. They're very commanding kind of energy. Could be a principal of a school. Um, this is somebody who travels awful lot. They like to travel. They could be an artist or an artisan or they create. They could work with their hands. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Ooh. Okay. This person. All right, Virgo. I do feel like this person has somebody else. They're very popular. Oh, my goodness. Um very popular but they do have like oh interesting okay they're a widow there you go this person's a widow okay now i know that this reading seems very specific and it's not going to resonate for all of you i know some of you are like listen if you're already in a relationship with someone and things are going good you don't need to be listening to these readings okay because i'm not talking to you um, I'm talking about somebody here who has got some drama going on, but they're single and uh, there's somebody they're connecting with this. Listen, you guys, this is not a past person. I have no, there's no past energy here. Okay. This is somebody new. This could be from the other reading the other day. I think we had quite a few characters showing up in those readings, but this is not, um, this is not your past person. This is somebody new. Okay. Oh, and as soon as I said that, here's judgment. That's the reconciliation card. This is an opening up. And, no, but that's not what I feel like it is. It's not. This person is a widow. Um, they've accepted that they're, they're, the person that's passed away has, you know, gone um, and has seen the light. <clears throat> they've had their judgment day. They've moved on. Yeah, they're just giving me that energy for that there. What is going to happen here? Oh, this is a situation that is could possibly turn to marriage. Yeah, long-term commitment, um, security, marriage, page of pentacles. Yeah, this is like... Um, This Taurus energy. So I feel like this is this is a situation that is it can actually in the long term turn into a long a long term connection. Okay, I did try to describe this person for you, but I feel like how is Virgo going to meet this person? Let me get a couple other cards. How is Virgo going to meet this person? 
What is this energy? Oh, there's the Three of Pentacles again. Okay, this something to do with a college or a school. Um, oh, and there's the Page of Wands again. Okay, there's some type of communication. Virgo, I feel like you get an invite over the weekend to go somewhere if you haven't already received it. Okay, it could be something to do with um, with it with like a team, maybe a team of people. Maybe you go to some kind of work picnic or something, or or for the uh, some. It could be in the U.S. for the holiday or just something else. This person will be there. Okay. I feel like, okay, there's the hermit. There's the king of wands. I told you he was going to show up. Okay, if it's not like they could invite you to something that they go to that you might already know them and you're already connecting with them in some way. And for others, you could have a friend that invites you to go to some type of an event. And I feel like this person, you know, you're going to connect with them there. Okay, over this weekend, it's some kind of like party or just an event, a celebratory event. Okay, yeah, there you go. Four of Wands. Okay, celebratory event, community, family, something like that. And there's the Six of Wands. Okay, somebody's getting celebrated for something. This person comes across to me as like a superstar. This person shows up to me as is, is pretty popular, and they're choosing you. This is like. This is like the uh, billionaire that goes in for a cup of coffee in the in the diner and, you know, falls in love with the waitress. Wasn't there an old movie with that 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 happened or this waitress hits the Nicolas Cage and um, the Fonda girl? I can't remember her name. It's an old movie. It's very 90s. Maybe if you guys remember, um, he, he goes he goes into the diner where she's a waitress and leaves her like a I don't know a million dollar tip or something this is that story <laughs> this is what I feel like is playing out here okay there's the king of cups sitting with the three of swords so if you had a connection with the king of cups in the past person is like why are they showing up here oh there's going to be some communication with the king of cups wanting to reconcile they have a broken heart okay you're looking good you're looking fine so you're going to get communication from a king of cups you're going to get communication with a aries or a king of wands leo sagittarius um you are have to trot this weekend virgo oh look there's also a king of swords here showing up so gemini libra aquarius um that you've kind of been trying to get away from um very toxic energy you're kind of looking away from that at this time and Oh my gosh. Yeah. Virgo, it's all about the love this weekend for you. The Ace of Cups and the and the Hierophant. And you had that before. Like you have you actually like people are coming out of the woodwork, Virgo. People are coming out of the woodwork and they're wanting to be with you and they're falling in love with you or re-falling in love with you, you know? And you might already have somebody at this time um that you're connecting with that doesn't want to let you go, doesn't want to lose you. Um and there's going to be some communication from that person. Also, they're they're going to just be so amazed that I just heard <clears throat> they hold you on a they hold you up in a pedestal. You don't even see yourself that way. But if you're currently connecting with somebody at this time that you're already involved with, they have you on such a high pedestal right now. You may not know it because they may not like really share that with you. But I'm picking that up and also. Um, they might share it with you over this weekend, okay, to let you know that, and, and you're just like, what, what are you talking about, I'm just me, you know, like, I don't know, I don't know if it's good or bad, I just feel the energy of like, you're surprised, I just feel like you're going to be surprised, all right, let me see what your, the Chinese message is, okay, there's a goat, there is a horse, okay, there's a rabbit, you're the rabbit, rabbit twice okay we've got a rooster monkey rooster again ox horse again double horse monkey again oh my goodness and a pig okay and a snake okay those are your chinese signs now 
listen Virgo I'm gonna end the reading now um, there's two readings okay so if you miss the first one um, I'll put a link below I, I'm doing I've done two readings for this weekend the first reading has everything to do it was starting off as love and it turned into your success and your money and your wealth and your career and your fame if you have fame um, or even if it's local so I'll leave a link below this video you can check that out they're both you know it's pretty short this one is just strictly love okay so just my little something something for you and I'll also be here Friday night listen you guys Friday night July 1st 10 30 p.m. Eastern just so you know I'm only gonna be here for an hour I'm going to just do it real quick. It's If you're asking questions, it's going to be free. I'll try to get to everybody. Like I said, if you super chat, I'll be able to get you a lot faster. But uh, the questions are going to be like, boom, 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 boom. Like, yes, no, yes, no. If you don't come in asking me for like, well, I was in involved with this person. And then, you know, they were seeing somebody else. And can you tell me how he feels? And when he'll be coming back? And I'm not doing long readings in there. Okay, this is like, are me and my ex going to get back? Boom, yes or no. Um, is it going to be, when is, when, when am I going to hit that, when am I going to get that job? Boom, I'll give you a date, right? Because it's going to be a lot of people, all right? So um, the personal, long personal readings, that kind of stuff, you guys, um, are for Saturdays, you know, become a member of my channel and I'll be able to give that to you. That's $10 a month for that. Um, and then I can get in a little bit deeper with you with that. Um, but this Friday, it's just going to be fun. I'll try to stay on, if I have to stay on a little bit longer than an hour, I will. And if it's not crazy busy and I'm able to go a little more, um, give you a little more detail, I'll try. We're going to play it by ear. But yeah, it's not, it's not going to be a long personal reading. Okay. <laughs> because we're, we're just we got to give everybody a chance to get a question answered all right you guys so i'm gonna leave that here i hope you have a fantastic weekend i will see you guys friday evening um yeah take care love you bye <laughs>